Today, I'm going to be talking about the uh, WHO FCTC, the Framework Convention on Tobacco Control, uh, the Sustainable Development Goals Targets 3.A, and the Global Strategy to Accelerate Tobacco Control. Um, all of this obviously is linked. We are all gathered today for one simple reason. This is because tobacco kills and continue to kills every year, and it remains the leading cause uh, of premature death across the world. Uh, our task in tobacco control uh, are going through some pronounced changes, and this is resulting in new tactics and insidious commercial strategies from the tobacco industry. Uh, first of all, adopted by the World Health uh, Assembly on the 21st of May 2003, the WHO Framework Convention on Tobacco Control, also known as WHO FCTC, came into force nearly 15 years ago in February 2005. And Despite being one of the most widely embraced treaty in the history of the United Nations, national implementation of the convention has been uneven and scarce. Um, with the latest rates uh, we measured in 2018 ranging from 13% to 88% for the most implemented articles uh, of the WHO CTC. According to the latest Global Progress Report on the implementation of the Convention, launched at the eighth session of the Conference of the Party in October 2018 in Geneva, many parties have not yet implemented measures under the WHO articles, especially if you can see on this slide, especially the time-bound indicators under Article 8, 11 and 13. Those time bounds measures should be applied within three to five years after entering to force of the convention for each party. This means that each party that ratify the convention also um, are committed to uh, implement those articles as a priority. Out of the three articles with time-bound measures, Article 13 continues to show the lowest implementation rates, uh, with two-thirds of the parties having reported instituting a comprehensive ban on all tobacco advertising, promotion and sponsorship. In addition, if you look at the bottom part of this chart, there are still a considerable number of articles with rates of less than 60%, such as Article 10, which is linked to the regulation of tobacco products disclosure, or Article 14, uh, which uh, deals with the demand reduction measures concerning tobacco dependency and cessation. At, at the seventh session of the Conference of the Party in India, uh, a consensus was reached uh, on the end of, uh, for a long-term plan to accelerate actions on WHO implementation. A decision was, take, was then adopted to establish a working group to develop a global strategy for tobacco control, and previously it was referred as the medial term strategic um, framework or the MTSF. And that global strategy for tobacco control was to guide the development of biannual work plans, budget and implementation support for consideration at the eighth session of the COP. It was also hoped that through this global strategy, the implementation of the convention will be accelerated and therefore contribute to the 2030 agenda for sustainable goals De sorry, sustainable development, which related goals were adopted in 2015 by the United Nations Assembly. The WHO FCTC is one of the three international conventions referenced in the United Nations Sustainable um, Development Goals, also known as SDGs, 
and their related targets, and more specifically, target 3.a of the SDGs calls for strengthening the implementation of the convention in all countries. In decision FCTC COP 7, uh, 27, the seventh session of the COP uh, called on parties to develop WHO FCTC implementation plans or highlights WHO FCTC implementation within national multisectoral NCD policies and plans as appropriate to parties' national context. The COP also requested the Convention Secretariat to promote WHO FCTC implementation as an essential and high impact strategy for achieving SDG target 3.4. So in a context where challenges uh, remain with the slow integration of the WHO FCTC in national laws, um, sketchy enforcement uh, of existing legislation, increasingly aggressive uh, tobacco industry marketing and interference in policy making, insufficient financial and, humans, uh, and human capacity allocated to tobacco control. The working group to strengthen the implementation of the convention through coordination and cooperation was set up and included 12 parties and, non, and six non-governmental and intergovernmental organizations with Canada, New Zealand and Senegal being key facilitators. And here you see the, the, the picture of the first meeting which took place in uh, Canada in November 2017. So members of that working group were also asked to provide guidance on priorities for implementation support for parties, as well as recommendation on the establishment uh, of an implementation review mechanism. And be between COP7 and COP8, the working group met several times to discuss the progress, review existing information, and provide additional data to produce uh, the expertise, um, the expected And this is the final products in October 2018. At the eighth session of the uh, Conference of the Party, uh, the report containing the draft strategy was submitted to parties and after being discussed at length, it was finally adopted. With a vision shared by 181 um, parties to the convention, this global strategy is a crucial milestone for everyone working in tobacco control. It is primarily a guide to implementation of the WHO FCTC for the next seven years, 2019 to 2025. And it has many aims. The first one is serving as a basis for work planning and budgeting for 2020 to 2025. It also informs the agenda of the work of the COP. Um, it manages increased demands and limits uh, limited resources while uh, ensuring effectiveness of the work of the Convention Secretariat. It also aims at empowering parties to work multi-sectorally with health and non-health sector and other stakeholders um, engaged in the same fight against tobacco at a global and regional and country levels. And elevating the profile and visibility uh, of tobacco control issues, including the convention itself, internationally and domestically. I'm going to get into really the, the content of that strategy. The first, the first strategic goal is really to accelerate uh, action. And in order to achieve its vision of a healthy and sustainable world for all free of tobacco epidemic and measure its success, the global strategy will use the WHO global monitoring framework for NCD's target, which sets a 30% relative reduction 
in the age standardized prevalence of current tobacco use in persons aged 15 years and over by 2025. The global strategy is built upon three main strategic goals. The first goal, accelerating action, gives priority to enabling um, actions to accelerate WHFCPT implementation and more specifically focuses on Article 5, uh, Article 6, which is linked with uh, price and tax measures to reduce the demand uh, of tobacco, as well as time-bound measures within Article 8, protection from exposure to tobacco smoke, Article 11, packaging and labeling of tobacco products, and 13, tobacco advertising, promotion, and sponsorship. In addition to all of that, um, systems to facilitate in capturing and sharing uh, of information on successful means of implementing tobacco control measures will also need to be strengthened, including expertise through the South-South and Triangular Cooperation, as well as the assistance role of knowledge hub to party. The second strategic goal um, is really around building partnership. Um, and it aims at mobilizing partners at national, regional, and global levels to ensure full integration of the WHO and CTC in everyone's work. And when appropriate, in the SDG responses. This will, hopefully, raise the profile and visibility of the WHO and CTC, as well as stimulating tobacco control actions at regional and national levels. UN um, agencies such as the World Health Organization, UNDP, the National, the UN uh, Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organizations, UNESCO, and the United Nations um, uh, Economic and Social Council are some of uh, the agencies in the UN family to have taken steps to implement policies that are in compliance with the model policy for agencies of the United Nations system on preventing tobacco, um, tobacco industry interference adopted in 2016 by members of the UN Interagency Task Force on Prevention uh, and Control of uh, non communicable Diseases. The WHO FCTC Secretariat has been nominated, uh, mandated to continue encouraging bodies under the United Nations to adopt mechanisms to address tobacco industry attempts to interfere with the implementation of tobacco control efforts and partnerships with uh, ex external uh, stakeholders and more particularly with the civil society should be highly encouraged in order to increase the ownership of the aim of the convention. Um, I mean, I'm just going to finish with the, the third uh, strategic goal, which is protecting integrity. The final strategic goal encourages parties to overcome barriers which could undermine the four effective and sustainable implementation of the convention, especially from the commercial invested interest of the tobacco industry. And those actions to support and encourage parties in their effort to remove barriers include building political support, promote um, uh, multiple uh, multi-sectoral collaboration and mobilize sustainable resources for tobacco control. One word to conclude is that this image that you see there is the way that the tobacco industry is starting to uh, advertise again in Formula One. And if we don't pay attention to them, it will come back like it used to be. And the last sentence is really about the Secretariat's a small team, and we need everyone, every, each, every one of, of the stakeholders to be able to help us to encourage and take this strategy forward. Thank you very much.